Hello you everyone, welcome back to Couch Co-op. Talking about a new intern who uh, will get paid nothing. Yep, he's a ghost, he gets paid nothing. We offer great raises. Oh yeah, 100% nothing is uh, nothing. Yeah, you get paid zero, we're going to give you 100% uh, pay raise every month, every quarter. <laughs> but no, our, you know, the channel will develop organically, it'll be fine. I'm not worried about it. Yeah. We're getting a lot better at least. Oh my god, yes. I must say we are. And I mean, it would be nice if, you know, people would leave comments for like criticism to let us know how we're doing. Wink, wink, and hint. But, oh well. Fuck it. I think we're pretty decent at policing ourselves. How do you get that fat glob of goo to move? Um, you have to come in here as... Oh, that pumpkin? Yeah, you have to come in here as a certain person, and then you have to hit that. Because there's a way to... He looks like that E.D. Goo thing off of Ghostbusters. He does, doesn't he? Uh, what, his name is, uh... It's not Slimer, is it? Uh, yeah, I think it is Slimer. Slimer. There's a way to get to the second floor, but I don't remember how to get up there. I thought it involved the pumpkin. But I could be wrong. The pumpkin seemed really good for those tentacles. <laughs> he was. That's true. I got in there and got the thing, but I know you can use him to get to the second floor because there's a toilet you gotta flush yourself down into. <laughs> as the pumpkin. And you can get onto the second onto the second uh, floor and then get on top of the hedge maze. Hmm. But I don't know how to do that. I do not know. So have I told you that for some reason I've okay. really been thinking a lot about um, Borderlands 2? No, you haven't. Yeah. That was a fun game to play though together. Yeah, I never got into it. Like, I just, it just never grabbed me. But it was fun to play through it together, yeah. But for some reason, I don't know why, but I've just been thinking a lot about that game. I liked 2 way more than the pre-sequel. Yeah. We, we beat the pre-sequel? We played the pre-sequel up to the point to where we got tired of it. Yeah, that's right. And we never then, beat it. Yeah, and then we just said, you know what, eh, this game isn't fun. Yeah. Yeah, because we, we were just flying through it. We had no freaking clue what was going on. Yeah, I had no clue what the story was or anything. Yeah, so we were just like, eh, I think we're done. Then, to go, then again, though, we did just come off of, like, playing every single thing yeah. we possibly could in the second Borderlands. Yeah, we played one, or, uh, we, I helped you walk, I helped walk you through one. Yeah. Um, played two, and then we tried playing the pre-sequel. Kind of got far, but we didn't, like you said, we had no idea what was going on. Mm -hmm. Something about oxygen tanks and weird accents and stuff. Yeah. Australian accents. Australian stuff. accents, and then you had the whole, for some reason, some super weapon got taken over, blah, blah, blah. I still haven't uh, beat the Telltale version of that. Really? Yep, and it bugged me. Because I don't like starting things and not finishing them. Mm. So the fact that I have not played the tell, the, I have not beaten the Telltale series. I made it to like episode two out of five or something like that. Yeah. And I know the Telltale games are good. They're really fucking good. But I just didn't get very far. You know what would be a good game to play on the channel? What? The Telltale's Walking Dead series. I want to play the Batman game. Yeah, I hear that one's really fucking good. I didn't hear anything about it, but I mean, it's it's fucking Batman. Uh, the Minecraft one they came out with, I didn't yeah. think I was going to like it. I played it on the Wii U. All five episodes, it was actually pretty good. Yeah, I think Daniel said something about that. I was very impressed. I think he liked it too. Could be wrong. I was super fucking impressed with it. Like, the, the storytelling was great. I like how you only get like... Oh, here we are. Eh. Fuck. <laughs> Can you put yourself in the fire or you get hurt? <laughs> Wait, you got a mumbo token from that? Yeah. How? 
I think it was just in the fire. Oh. I don't know how to. I don't know what to do. I am at a loss, Dan. I have no clue. Hmm. We gotta get to the second floor somehow. That's the only way to finish this level. Can you get up the hedge maze? Um, a different way? Yeah. Because the wall slopes down, right? Yeah. So can you just find a low point on the wall and just jump onto it that way? Maybe with Banjo? Well, Banjo can't jump on there. He'll get hurt. Not from there. But like I thought, there was a spot in the wall where it angled downward. It does. I, th I could have sworn I saw that too. I guess we just need to find it? I think it was over there by the um, by the house. Oh, was it? I All think right. so. We'll go back over there then. As you can tell, the further along we get into the game, the less and less I remember of it. Yeah. But. Well, see, it's weird because I'm in a way I'm kind of the opposite. Like really? if I like, if I freshly play a game or like I played a game, then I go back. I remember it. I remember. Yeah, see, it slopes in to the house over there. But then what about that side? Let's check. Over here. Fuck! Yeah, see how it slopes down a little bit? Uh, by that path? Right there? Okay. Go back. Right okay. around there. Can you jump onto that point with Banjo? I can, but it'll hurt me. The oh, hedge. because the thorns? Yeah, the thorns will hurt me. Could you become Kazooie and have her walk across it? She hurts too. Really? The pumpkin's the only one that can walk on top of them. But there's, there's gotta be, I know there's a way up there. Ah, 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 ah. Fuck you. I know there's a way up here. Yeah. I'm sure there is. There's gotta be a way. And I'm sure we're just not, oh, I might, uh, I think I might have seen it. Yep, I think I figured it out too. Gotta get up there to Mumbo, it's, it's something to do over with Mumbo. Yep. You know those uh, red bricks that you climbed over as Kazooie? These? Yeah, can you get on that with the pumpkin? That's what I was thinking. Doesn't look like it. But that... thats I thought that was it. But I guess not. Can I get up here? No. Can't Fuck. jump right enough. I know there's a way up here. This is going to bug the hell out of me. <laughs> can I jump on this? No. Nope. He jumps way too low. Well, then again, he is a fucking pumpkin. Yeah. Eh, eh, Let's eh, see here. Eh, 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 eh. Where to go? Where? What do? Oh! Fucking found it! Did you? Boom, boom, boom. Here it is. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, there it is. I knew there was a way. I knew it. I was just about to look up the walkthrough, too. Yeah, there we are. Hello. I am Pumpkin, and I own okay. the Hedge Maze. I really like this logo. Oh, that's really cool. That's Adam's uh, new band. The Highway Saints? Yeah, I really like that logo. And I told him, and he just replied. That's really cool. And it's so simple, it's just a silhouette of him. <laughs> yeah, sometimes the best logos are, are the most simple. I mean, he looks different now because he's shaved. Way to go. I wanted to get the Mumbo token. He looks different now because he shaved, but... Right. I really like that logo. It's really cool. Well, shit, the Beard Bros logo just looks like you just put the two guys next to each other and silhouetted just their beards. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Let's try this again. All right. Hop along, pumpkin. <laughs> Right. Oh god fuck <laughs> damn it <laughs> shit fucking camera This game is as hard as Dark Souls because of the camera. Yeah, it's uh -huh. camera souls. Yeah. Dude <sighs> Dark Souls 3 So fucking off. <laughs> it looks even like, more brutal than the first one. Like I thought the first one was brutal. Oh god, that was a this one that was a cakewalk compared to the beginning area of the third one. I haven't even encountered my first full boss. Like, I don't count 
the dude before the Firelink Shrine because everyone fights him. Oh, yeah. I'm talking about, like, the first true boss you go to fight. Man. I've been fighting all these big dudes. But, but they're, they're not bosses. They're not bosses. And they still kick your ass. They do. It's fucking awful. I see there's a way up here with Banjo and Kazooie. Yes, there is, because I see the jump pad. So... So you are you sure you can't walk along the hedge? Oh, I think I know. I think I can climb those. Climb what? Those poles. There's got to be a way, a place I can climb. Uh, fuck. I guess there's no flight pads, so you can't just fly over here? No, there is not. There's gotta be some way to get the, the barren bird up here. There's gotta be something. Barren bird? Yeah. Sounds kind of Russian. Barren it, bird. Barren bird! Yeah, because there's even windows up here to break. Yeah, I saw that. Alright, well... We'll come back as the pumpkin. You mean uh, as Magic Zooey? As Baron Bird? Yeah, we'll come back as Baron Bird. Fuck. Man, that'd be the perfect time to do a Russian accent, but I can't do him. Baron Bird! I can't do it. I sound like a fucking this idiot. Hey, you got a jigsaw. Hell yeah. Alright, let's go figure out a way up here as Banjo and Kazooie. Because apparently I'm retarded and don't know what I'm doing. And I'm sure it's something super fucking simple. See that drain pipe on the floor? Can you climb that? Probably. I could probably climb that. More than likely, that's how I get up there. Probably. Tell you what, you're a lot better at this game than you were at that uh, that one Sonic game that you played a couple months ago. Because <laughs> you're used yeah. to like the advanced like homing things, and then you just couldn't beat this one boss because you kept trying to home into his weak spot. Oh, yeah, like, I do. I can't home. That. Why can't I home? Why is he not dying? Why is he this so? Why is he so hard? And then it's and just then like, I took oh the yeah. controller and I just jumped on him three times and, and died. Killed it. And you're just like, what the fuck? <laughs> no, it is not that simple. And I'm like, yeah, dude, it's that simple. Yeah. And you're like, but why is it not more complicated? I don't remember what game that was. It was a, I know it was a Sonic game. But yeah, I was so fucking... Yep. That's how easy it is. I'm yeah. not doing it out of principle now. <laughs> You're gonna <laughs> pout and walk away. <laughs> it's fucking bullshit. I knew it was something simple. Oh, just to add. <laughs> Get out of here. You just got your life back. That's true. But yeah, no, that's true. Well, th there's the toilet, see? That's the toilet. Yep. But no, um... It's true, though, because all the new Sonic games are just like, homing attack this, homing attack that, boost here, boost there. Yeah, here's... Sonic Generations, here's, that's what it was. Here's the enemy's weak point or whatever. That yeah. you got a homing attack, too. Yep. This one was... But then... Yeah... It was just fucking classic mode. It was just easy. I was overcomplicating things. That's what the new Sonics do. Is they overcomplicate everything. That was dumb. It pissed me off. <laughs> I'm still... It thanks did. for reminding me about that, Dan. <laughs> <laughs> You're still mad about that? A little bit. Just a smidgen. Do you... Uh, bird beak it? Like butt drug? Butt... Butt bound? Not that. Unless there. Nope. Okay. I think I gotta get it as a pumpkin. Probably. Because now you've opened up that window. So you probably gotta transform and come back here as a pumpkin and then flush yourself down the toilet. Yeah. That's what I gotta do. <laughs> you! Fuck you! <laughs> get out of here! Dark Souls difficulty right here. <laughs> no! But Dark Souls 3! Like, what the hell? They threw so many big guys at you. At least in the first one? Like... Like, you didn't fight big guys for a little while. They, they were super gentle before they raped you. And this one, they're just like, hey, so you know, I'm gonna rape you. <laughs> it's just walk into your room and they're like, all right. They're like, ben, all right. Yeah, they're like, bend all right, over. Drop them. <laughs> drop them. But it's fun. I don't understand why. It's fun getting raped. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, I guess. You're just, you're just sobbing into your pillow, but secretly, like, secretly, you're like, hey, it's kind of nice. Yeah, it's like, finally. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Fuck you. So does that mean the more aggressive the game is, the more it loves you? I guess. <laughs> yeah, fuck you. Oh, I thought that was a doghouse. I'm thinking, <laughs> why is there a doghouse in the bedroom? Open. Open. I don't think that's how you do it. <coughs> huh. So now how do you go oh. down into the first floor? Kill the, the thingy. Oh, you have to enter it from the roof. Oh, the roof. Mm-hmm. How, How do you get up there? How the hell do I get up there? Oh, the jump pad. Oh, there's a jump pad there. Look yeah. at that. Wink. Really? There it is. Yay. I feel bad. I've, I've been hogging the control the whole time. Do you want to play? Oh, it's fine. No. If it's taking you this long to do this level, imagine how long it'd take me. Tell you what, though, I will help you out so much in Metroid. I'm looking forward to playing that. It's going to be fun. Superman 64 is going to be interesting. Yeah. That's for sure. I, I mean, like, really we're playing it notori just because it's notoriously bad. Yeah, that's the only reason why I'm interested in playing it. Eh. Aha. Oh. <sighs> oh, I was like, I swear to God, if I missed a note anywhere in this level. Then, okay, they're just right there. Die. I've also been thinking a lot about um, Fallout. Oh, uh, Fallout 4? Just, yeah, Fallout 4, Fallout uh, 1. Just, I really like them. But the Fallout series is really, is really good. I like it a lot. Hey, that didn't help you. Yes, it did. No, it didn't. He's sleeping. Oh, because you came in from the ceiling. So we yeah. Right there. And he's just like, Grunty's gold, how it's shown, and she'll be mad now it's gone. Oh, I get it. I thought you had to drop the chandelier on his head. No. Oh. No, because if you, if you, if you touch the floor, kind of like the floor is lava game. Okay. If you, if, you land, if you touch the wood planks on the floor, he wakes up. Oh, okay. Now the last, the hmm. last piece is in the toilet. Okay. So this level is actually almost finished. Oh, nice. Yes. And then how many more after this? Uh, three. I feel like the timer should have went off. Yeah, no. No, we still got t two minutes. Damn. Well then. So we got three more levels. Now is that three more worlds and then the boss, or is that counting the boss? Two more worlds. And then the boss. And the put the quiz game. Oh, okay. Then the boss. Yeah, but the quiz game is that's not gonna be as long as a world, right? It shouldn't be. If we don't suck. No. Oh. If we suck it'll be long. Really? Mm-hmm. But I don't think the the questions are all are too awful hard. No, oh, probably not. Well, like you said, they're just uh, trivia stuff. Yeah, and it's trivia about the game. Like, the st uh, it'll ask you, like, in Mumbo's Mountain, how many huts were there that you had that you had to shatter? Oh, okay. And it'll give you, like, three answers. And I think the answer is, like, six. Well, because you, um... Because I asked what that fairy, the, like, well, good fairy was. Well, there are some questions with that, too. Oh, okay. Like, some of the questions will be trivia about the game... And then other ones will be trivia about Gruntilda. Oh, I see. And when I was a child, I did not know that the good fairies, like, like wiggly letters, like yeah. wiggly words, yeah. were the answers to those quiz show questions. Oh. So, I always just kind of guessed on those. So, yeah, with 
I could see this game just really... It looks like a great game. This game's so fun. I love this game. Alright, well, next time on Couch Co-op, we are going to finish this level and start in on the next one. See you guys later.